मोस्ट एक्सपेक्टेड टॉप फाइव एम सी क्यू बीच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग गिवन कंडीशन इज अ राइट फॉर दिस टेक अ मैक्सिम पावर एंड ईच एंड एवरी फैक्टर तो वट इज योर आंसर आंसर इज ट्वेंटी हेलो डी स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल फॉर योर मैथ्स फाइनल प्रिपरेशन सो नाउ टूडे वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट मोस्ट एक्सपेक्टेड टॉप फाइव एम सी क्यू रिपीटेडली ask me in your previous cbsc board examination for basic and standard maths 2 so now we will discuss about first mcq c the line representing the given pair of linear equation are non intersecting which of the following statement is true it means two line is parallel this two line is parallel Which of the following given condition is right for this? A one by A two is equals to B one by B two, but not equals to C one by C two. It means your constant terms are different. Remaining two coefficient A one B one for the first linear pair of lines and another B A two and B two are also same. So this is condition for infinite many solutions. remember this is for parallel line or also you can say non intersecting line this is for unique solution okay this is not for unique solution this last one is for unique solution we cannot say this is for unique solution am i right getting or not okay now when you getting unique and infinite many solution now you have to comment it is a which type system i given one clue for if two lines are parallel so that is a inconsistent system okay and when you get this two lines are coincide to each other it this two equation dependent to each other so it is also dependent system okay so now second mcq a point x y is a distance 5 units from the origin how many such points lie on the third quadrant okay it's a very important mcq many students getting confused okay see this is your origin o and suppose in third quadrant this is your y x x dash and this one is a y dash okay now this is your first quadrant both coordinates are positive x coordinate is known as your abscissa and also your y coordinate known as a ordinate remember this one for second quadrant x minus y plus because left of origin is a negative for x axis and similar way origin above side y axis plus and down side negative and origin right side x is a positive okay similar for third quadrant both coordinates are negative x negative y negative and similar in the fourth quadrant x positive y negative now we give the answer for the third quadrant okay now this is your point suppose p x y Five units from the origin. Okay, so first possibility minus three, minus four. Pythagoras triplets. We already know. Other other possibility minus root twenty one, minus two, minus two, minus root twenty one. Similar way minus three, minus root twenty two. And also minus root twenty two minus oh it's a root three, okay it's a minus root three, and here also uh, no here it's a only two, getting so now zero is a wrong option one no more than one two no more than two so your final answer is infinite many, infinite many. points you can find in each and every quadrant getting yes or no if you are finding out the distance between this point 0 comma 0 and this minus 
root 22 and minus root 3. So, using the distance formula, any point you can take and verify from the origin 0, 0. Apply this show as a point A and this one is the point B. Now, apply your distance formula AB is equals to under root minus root 3 minus 0 square minus root 22 minus 0 square. So, final answer minus root 3 is a 3 minus root 22 square is only 22. So, you will get your answer root 25 and similar way we can also verify for this and remaining points too. So, this is your second MCQ. Now, for the third MCQ, if a pole, if a pole 6 meter high, suppose this is your pole, give this pole name as a AB. Its height is 6 meter already given. Cast a shadow 2 root 3 meter long on the ground. Okay. So, now it cast the shadow. And now, so this is a shadow and we have to find the angle of elevations. This is your angle of elevations and this take as a point C and this is shadow length 2 root 3. Now, this is your reference angle. This one is a right angle. For reference angle, this side is your opposite side and this one is your adjacent also you can say perpendicular and base so now which which trigonometry ratio you can utilize either 10 or cot but we like 10 so 10 theta is equals to opposite upon adjacent or similar you can say perpendicular upon base so finally you will get ab by bc AB is equal to 6 meter and your BC is equal to 2 root 3. Now, you just simplify 2 3s are. So, finally you get root 3. So, 10 theta is equal to root 3. From the trigonometry table, what is the answer for your theta angle of the elevations? Answer is 60 degree. So, now your answer should be option A. Getting or not? Okay. Now, next. If the perimeter and area of the circle are numerically equal, okay. What is the perimeter of the circle? It's a simply 2 pi r. And what is your area of the circle? It's a pi r square. If these both are numerically equal, so r, r, pi, pi cancel, you will get your radius r equals to 2. Radius of the circle, 2 units, directly you will get the answer. But now, 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 twist is here. In exam, they also ask instead of radius, find out the diameter. So, you have to comment what is the diameter of this given questions and also you have to comment what is the perimeter for the given circle units only. Getting? Okay, that's the MCQ. Now for the next one. LCM of smallest two digit, smallest two digit. Remember, smallest two digits. Composite number and smallest composite number is, okay, LCM. Smallest two digit composite number, smallest two digit composite number is a 10. And what is the smallest composite number? Is it 2? No, 2 is a prime number. It's a 4 only. So now, what is the LCM of this? Factorize 2 phaisa and 2 square. Take a maximum power and each and every factor. So, what is your answer? Answer is 20. So, option C. Now, you have to comment about what is the HCF of given same question. Write down in the comment section. Okay. So, now I hope you will getting idea about this top 5 MCQ most expected for CBSC examination match 2025. Thank you.